Hey, so now I want to talk about auto prefixes and how to enable that extension in VS Code. So we start um, accessing our extensions um, like we usually do, view extensions, or we can just hit that little icon down there on the side. Um, the name of the extension that we're looking up today is auto prefix. Yeah, there it is. And it's going to install. And like um, all the other extensions down here below, while this is installing, you can see it gives you like a preview of how it works and what it does. And um, just some instructions, overall instructions. So while this is installing, um, I'll kind of go over what um, a vendor prefix is. Um, as you guys have, I'm sure, already know, web browsers are updated periodically. But if you're, as you're creating a website, you have to keep in mind that not all your users may have this up, most updated, most current version of a web browser. And some of the tools and the, um, the syntax, the, the code that you're writing, may not work for the older versions of a browser. So the purpose of a auto prefixer is that it automatically puts the vendor prefixes in the code so that it will work if you have somebody accessing your website that's on an older browser if the code will still load correctly so it's installed um, so we just hit reload so i'm on a website called auto prefixer it's a uh, github.io and what it is, is um, it's an auto prefixer um, that fixes uh, CSS so that your code that you're working will work on older versions of a particular browser. So the example I'm going to be using is this right here, just to show how it works. And what you're going to see when we go back to VS Code is that it's going to look something like that. There's a couple of lines of code that doesn't happen. I think it's probably something that's more current or things change. But um, anyway, so I'm just going to copy this code and take it back to here. Create a new file. Paste the code. Control S to save it. And it's going to name it practice.css. And yes, I want to replace it because I did the same thing earlier. And you'll see that the code changes color because it's now a CSS file. It's no longer just a plain text file. So the way um, auto prefixer works is it's really simple. All you have to do is hit F1. And then the command palette opens up right here. Um, the other way to open up the command palette would be view command palette. And like I said, F F1 is a shortcut key. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you would type in what you're looking for. I already have mine up here, auto prefix CSS. I would click on that and give it a second. In a second. Try this again. There we go. Okay, this is a delay or I didn't hit it right. I'm not sure. So I'm going to go ahead and do that by hit Control Z and try it again. So open up the palette. Okay, and you can see how it changes some of the syntax some of the lines of code so that it would work for older versions of and you see on vs code if you hover over it, it controls the appearance of selection the safari 3 in chrome or firefox 1.5 um, edge and ie 10. so what it's basically saying is if they're is um, if a user is using an older version um, of a web browser, 
that they will have the same kind of appearance and the outcome and their user experience as those who are using a more current version. So that is pretty much the short and dirty of auto prefixes. Um, those are a way to help you know, write code that's um, less typing, which means less errors, and to make sure that all your users are going to have a similar experience. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.